drinking coffee every 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 day is like being stuck in a rut and I'm here to tell you that there is a way better place come with me and I'm going to tell you exactly how you can stop drinking coffee and not feel shitty and not feel bad five reasons why you may be drinking coffee the same reason I drank coffee and I stopped drinking coffee here are the reasons number one to wake up in the morning that's how simple it is People don't even want to wake up in the morning unless they know they got coffee to go to. Number two, it gives you energy, it gives you a boost to start doing whatever it is you got to do during the day. Number three, it's warming, it's comforting, gets your blood circulating. Number four, it promotes bowel movements, which is probably the number one reason why everybody drinks coffee besides being buzzed up. And the last reason, number five, it makes you happy, gives you a good mood. You want to talk to people, basically. So why is it that you should stop drinking coffee? What's wrong with drinking coffee in the first place? Coffee disrupts the balance of your own intestinal flora. So basically, you're screwing up your intestinal flora when you're drinking coffee. Coffee is an acidic thing. You need to have a balanced, good, more good bacteria than bad bacteria inside of you because all of the five reasons I mentioned above that you reach out for coffee, the balance of your flora is what is going to give you all those reasons. You're going to have a bowel movement, you're going to have a good mood, your mind is going to be sharp, you're going to have a boost of energy, you're going to think clearly. You're going to want to wake up in the morning all because of your intestinal flora and coffee disrupts that balance. Coffee drains your adrenal, gland. adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands are important because they are the energy, your natural source of energy. When you drink coffee, you are negating your own natural source of energy. Your body is not using its own natural source of energy, rather it's going to start using coffee for energy. And when it does that, it drains the adrenals. Your adrenals are responsible for producing hormones like estrogen, adrenaline, cortisol, which is your stress regulating hormone. If you've drained your adrenals from all your stress regulating hormone, basically you can't handle stress very well. You get anxiety, you get panicky. Your adrenals control your blood sugar levels, they control your metabolism, they control your immune system. You get the flu quicker, when your adrenals are drained. Alertness, concentration, memory, your adrenals are responsible for those things. When you drain them, you don't have much of those things. Coffee is acidic and disease thrives in acidic environments. So the big question is, how are you supposed to get off of coffee without feeling bad? You know, without feeling like, oh, I just need a cup of coffee. And you don't want to go through that process. I didn't want to go through that process either. So this is what I did. When I took my coffee in the morning, instead of using the amount of coffee that I made, like a scoop or a spoon or whatever, I halved that. So basically I kind of ended up with watery coffee. And instead of using a creamer or a sugar in my coffee, I used coconut milk and just a splash of that. So I kind of made my coffee not so tasty anymore, but still tasty enough so that I will actually want it when I wake up in the morning. After a couple days to a week of doing this, I had no appetite for coffee anymore. I know it, it sounds silly and everything, but if you really want to get off of coffee, this is what really helps without feeling like the cut off cold turkey kind of way, you kind of wean yourself off of it and basically you lose the appetite for coffee. So what are you supposed to drink instead of coffee to give you the same energy, to give you the same booze, blah, blah, blah. You can do it either way. You can, if you really want to get off of coffee, that is to say caffeine, because not all caffeine is equal. There's caffeine in black tea. You can substitute your coffee for black tea especially chai black tea because chai is very warming gets your blood going it sends uh, puts rosy cheeks on your face 
chai has a lot of beneficial spices like cinnamon that's very warming it also has chicory and chicory is actually a prebiotic so it's going to be helping you grow that beneficial bacteria and black tea is very healthy it is fermented green tea so anything fermented is very healthy for the body. The nutrients in black tea are more bioavailable to the body because they are fermented. Anything that is fermented is easier for the body to digest, is easier for the body to take in the nutrients. And black tea is full of lots of healthy benefits. It has caffeine, but it's not the same kind of jittery, crash feeling caffeine that you get from coffee. If you don't want to have any caffeine at all, what I do and what really works is a tall glass of very warm water with about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and two tablespoons of lemon juice. You can have just the apple cider vinegar without the lemon juice, but I just have both because I want the both benefits of them. And that is going to really help get things moving, bowel movement, everything is going to start um, circulating, your lymphatic system is going to start draining the toxins. Apple cider vinegar is a probiotic. Lemon juice is a prebiotic. Now, this is the best part. I have something for you that is way greater than coffee. It's like 10 times the benefit that you get from coffee without the crash, no crash at all, and that is yerba mate. Yerba mate is a kind of tea. Um, it's basically kind of like a ground up green tea. It is so jam packed with vitamins and minerals. It is like health in a cup without any calories with almost any calories, I don't know, maybe there's like a few calories. It has half the amount of caffeine that coffee has, but you would never know it because it feels like you drink 10 cups of coffee when you have this yerba mate because all of the benefits that are already in there are just like together with a little bit of caffeine, it just makes a big boost and you just feel like touching the sky or jumping or dancing or whatever it is you gotta do and you just want to do more things um that's a great substitute for coffee it has so many antioxidants vitamin a vitamin e it is so full of b vitamins b vitamins are the vitamins that is for energy that gives you energy and especially for fat metabolism, burning up fat and stored energy in your body. It just really, really helps with that. And it really helps with your brain functioning. Your synapses are just firing very, very fast, way faster than they do with caffeine. I can guarantee that your synapses fire way faster on your bamate than they do with caffeine or coffee than they do with coffee like this great happy positive mood and excitement about life and in general happiness the great thing about it is that it promotes healthy gut something that is even better than coffee is going to be promoting a healthy gut for you so drink yerba mate the polyphenols in yerba mate act as prebiotic it's also a diuretic so it's gonna take out all that swollen, bloating, puffiness that you may be carrying that making you look like 10 pounds more than you really are. And give a shine to your face from all the antioxidants. It has magnesium, sodium, phosphorus, calcium, potassium, iron, and even chlorophyll and much, much more. Yerba Mate even has the euphoric compounds of chocolate. So you get to feel like you just ate a lot of chocolate without any other calories or sugar. You gotta love yerba mate. Try it out, let me know what you think, and let me know if this works for you, whatever way you try to get off of coffee. I have gotten off of coffee and I guarantee you, I do not feel like I'm in the same everyday grind rut anymore. I feel like I have sprung out of my box and it is the best feeling, so I encourage you so I encourage you to get off of coffee as well. It will be the best thing for you.
please comment, like, subscribe, share, and keep watching my videos because I am making a lot of them. See you guys later. Bye.